Good evening, Soul Food. How's everyone doing out there? Now, one of the disadvantages of being the sound guy and the host is I can't tell if you can hear me. So if you can't hear me, yell, speak up, or I'll get closer to the mic or whatever. Uh, anyway, our event tonight is Songwriters in Seattle. This is a monthly event that we host here, and it's part of a larger um, organization. As the name implies, Songwriters in Seattle is a is a group of songwriters in Seattle and, and the surrounding areas. And I believe uh, Songwriters in Seattle has over a 1,000 members now. So it's a pretty big organization, and, uh, and they do meetups and events like this all over the region. Um, we're just one of the places that hosts this, and it's always a pleasure to host this event. And uh, thank you all for coming out and supporting these local singers and songwriters. Um, I've got a table back here with all sorts of information on songwriters in Seattle. If you'd like to learn a li little mo bit more about the organization, feel free to browse back there. And if you'd like to donate to the cause, there's a donation bucket as well. But you guys came here to see uh, hear some music, so let's get some musicians on stage. We've got uh, Greg Spence-Wolf to start the night. We're going to have Eric Dodd, and then we're going to have Drew Nichov <laughs> in the evening. So, Come on up, Greg. Turn on some mics, so I'm sitting here going, he's gonna point at me. I guess, I guess he's ready. That, question Am I ready? So I wrote this song a long time ago, before I knew how to play mandolin or guitar. And I wrote it on piano, and I, I've been practicing it in my head and in, in, in my car lately. And I realized today I'd never played this chord progression on the mandolin until I started playing it today. So, um, Take, but whatever. It's an old song for me, written in like in the 90s, I think. And I don't know, I guess I'm gonna sing it. One, two, three, four. Woke up this morning and I felt really good. And I knew everything was gonna be alright. So I said to myself, self, let's take a chance, make my dreams come true today. Dream where nobody went without food. Dream where it was safe to walk the streets at night. Dream where no kid was labeled at risk. A dream where everybody had their say. Now you might think that this dream is impossible. But I say that it's the only way to go for you and me. So then I looked in the mirror. And asked, what, where do I start? Looked inside my head and I looked inside my heart. Then I said to myself, self, what is the plan to make my dreams come true today? Now you might say that this dream is just an ideal, that it's too ideal. But I say that we can make it real for everybody. What am I thinking of? What do I want to do? What do I need to do? What am I going to do to make my 
dreams come true. And this smiling face over here, lovely lady, is my my wife Tara, and she's going to sing the last two songs with me. So I guess I'm asked requesting the song guy give me the two more sign at some point. <laughs> Oh, the last three. Okay, she's going to do the last three. Maybe I should just do those three songs right now. And then if there's time, we'll do one more. There was a, There's an organization of, like, anarchist, communist-type people, pinko, commies. They call themselves Code Pink. And they sent me an email one day titled Prison for a Poem. It was about this guy with this really long name that I have not memorized, but wrote a poem called, I, forget, I don't remember what his poem was called, but I quoted it, and he got locked up in jail in um, Cutter. I was writing the poem, so I said, That's, I started writing the chorus for his song around that email title. They went to prison for a poem. Prison for a song, prison cause they talked about what's going on. They're doing time cause they reported a crime. I wanted to be free, and that's why I wrote this song. Muhammad posted a poem on YouTube about the Arab Spring. He said, We're all Tunisians now in the face of oppression. It offended the Qatari king, so he's in prison now. They went to prison for a poem, prison for a song, prison because they talked about what's going on. They're doing time because they reported a crime. Want them to be free, and that's why I wrote this song. Pussy Riot wrote a song about Putin, so Putin had Pussy Riot put in prison. The same gulags that the Soviets used. The kind of place where your human rights are abused. They went to prison for a poem, prison for a song, prison because they talked about what's going on. They're doing time because they reported a crime. Want him to be free, and that's why I wrote this song. Private Manning leaked video showing helicopter soldiers shooting unarmed civilians and cameramen in New Baghdad. And Obama locked up Manning instead of the shooters who killed the civilians. They went to prison for a poem, prison for a song, prison because they talked about what's going on. They're doing time because they reported a crime. I want them to be free, and that's why I wrote this song. I gotta commend Greg for singing the long mouthfuls that are like I can't keep up with in that one. I don't try. <laughs> well, it's funny because Prissy Wright got let out of prison about a year ago. He also rewrites it as but the then, news changes, so but, but then I, the I Olympic, can't remember it. But <laughs> sorry. Was, yeah, the Olympics came to town and they got arrested again. <laughs> so I'm not sure of their status because there's like nine members and sort of a collective. But. But the, there's so much alliteration, I still sing the verse. <laughs> so I wrote this song about my wife. It's called I Can't Get Enough of That Good Love That We Share. Can't get enough of that good love that we share. Can't get enough of that tender love and care. And if we live forever, can't get enough of you and me together. Can't get enough of that good love that we share. Can't get enough of you holding me tight. 
can't get enough of you treating me right. Every day and every night I spend with you is our delight. Can't get enough of you holding me tight. Can't get enough of that good love that we share. Can't get enough of that tender love and care. Even if we live forever, can't get enough of you and me together. Can't get enough of that good love that we share. Can't get enough of saying I love you. Can't get enough of you saying it too. Because I am in love with you. I'm gonna say I do to you. Can't get enough of saying I love you. Can't get enough of that good love that we share. Can't get enough of that tender love and care. And if we live forever, can't get enough of you and me together. Can't get enough of that good love that we share. Can't get enough of that good love that we share. Can't get enough of that tender love and care. Even if we live forever, can't get enough of you and me together. Can't get enough of that good love that we share. And this next song is about um, a lost automobile. Not a lost automobile, a damaged automobile. We should warn you it's a sing-along. And um, it's based on a true story told to me by a next door neighbor who had a bunch of cars in his backyard, but still complained that when he was moving them out to western Washington, eastern Washington, that there were windmills in his view. <laughs> but <laughs> what, what was I going to say? I guess I'm going to say I had to change a couple of lines to keep it family friendly, sort of. And I made up one line that isn't true, but he said it's okay. My Cadillac, my Cadillac, don't run no more, don't run no more, it sits in pieces, sits in pieces, outside my door, outside my door, it's rear end, it's rear end, is all smashed in, all smashed in, and my Cadillac don't run no more, more. don't some son of a gun. Some son of a gun. Pulled a hit and run. Pulled a hit and run. He probably had. He probably had. No insurance. No insurance. Now my rear end. My rear end. Is all smashed in. It's all smashed in. And my Cadillac don't run no more. Don't run no more. I always park. I Defensively, defensively, so that nobody, so that nobody will hit me, will hit me. I was certain, I was certain, I would not get hit that day. It did not work out that way. My Cadillac, my Cadillac, don't run no more. Don't it's it's in pieces. It's in pieces. Outside my door. Outside my door. It's rear end. It's rear end. It's all smashed in. It's all smashed in. And my Cadillac don't run no more. Don't run no more. Now that old car. That old car. Just good for parts. Just good for parts. To see it there. To see just 
breaks my heart. Breaks my heart. It's transmission. It's transmission. Won't even start. Won't even start. Now I got a redneck yard. Redneck yard. My Cadillac. My Cadillac. Don't run no more. Don't run no more. It sits in pieces. Sits in pieces. Outside my door. Outside my door. It's rear end. It's is all smashed in all smashed in and my cadillac don't run no more don't run no more my cadillac my cadillac don't run no more don't run no more it sits in pieces outside my, my door. door it's rear end it's all smashed in and my Cadillac don't run no more. Thank you. Thank you, Tara. Is that one more or no more or two more? Oh, two more. Okay. <laughs> This song, you may stay up here. You, you are invited to stay up here. <laughs> may, it's not like I'm giving her permission. <laughs> this is the song is the subject of a bumper sticker that I'm giving away. Oh, this is a fun one too. I'll try not to giggle. And it was given to me by Lisa Rosenthal. She blurted out in an operatic voice one night when I was giving her a lecture on being thrifty. She said, you're a righteous dumpster diver, dude. Yes, she sang better than that. Way better than that. She's an opera singer. That either. <laughs> Where was I? I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. Yeah, I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. I get all of my apparel from the bottom of a barrel. I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. Yeah, I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. All my favorite music, someone else refused it. I get all of my apparel from the bottom of a barrel. I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. Yeah, I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. My ladder hat has many styles, cause it comes from the circular file. All my favorite music, someone else refused it. I get all of my apparel from the bottom of a barrel. I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. Yeah, I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. If it's in a bottle or a can, then I figure that I can eat it all up without throwing up. My letter head has many styles, cause it comes from the circular file. All my favorite music, someone else refused it. I get all of my apparel from the bottom of a barrel. I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. Yeah, I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. I go to campus every spring to look for all of the good things that people throw away because they go away 
If it's in a bottle or a can, then I figure that I can eat it all up without throwing up. My letterhead has many styles, cause it comes from the circular file. All my favorite music, someone else refused it. I get all of my apparel from the bottom of a barrel. I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. Yes, I'm a righteous dumpster diver, dude. I'm a righteous dumpster diver. on the sidewalk because people are walking by and they don't expect me to say the word throw up. <laughs> there was a guy who dumpster used to dumpster dive at the Pike Place Market and he would take things out of the dumpster and put them in my case and put some things that I didn't want <laughs> like pants that smelled like like paint thinner and stuff. But I thought, okay, I'm singing a song about dumpster driving. I have to accept that. that that's going to happen to me. <laughs> But I found out he was doing that for everybody. He was picking things out of the garbage and putting them in their cases. He gave me this nice black scarf one day, and I had I said, I know this girl who just loves everything black, and I gave it to her. That was before I went black in fashion. Now I'd be like, that's fine. <laughs> that was like 11 years ago. What song should we do next? Because we, we, we exceeded our set list. charge of the set list. Um, something short. Something um, not a cover song. That's a hard one. <laughs> we'll do something moderately like no solos. I'm a good man. He's a good man. And I won't let you down. He will let me down. Yeah, I'm a good man. He's a good man. Keep you safe and sound. So let me know when you want me around When this cold world knocks you down I'll lift your spirits up off the ground And set you down on solid ground I hold you in my arms so tight, keep you safe and warm all night, give you every delight, you give me and more, give you a love worth living for, that's for sure, cause I'm a good man, he's a good man, and I won't let you down, won't let me down, yeah I'm a good man, safe and sound so let me know when you want me around I ain't saying that I'm always right and when you point that out I don't want to fight I'll work it out day or night that's right. I might make you mad, but I won't make you sad. Rarely be bad. No, you won't be had if you choose to take me into your life. I'll be glad to reduce your pain and strife. That's right. Cause I'm a good man. You're a good man. And I won't let you down. Won't let me down. Yeah, I'm a good man. He's a good Keep man. Keep you safe and sound. So let me know. Let me know. When you want me around. Right now. All right. I know that you're a good woman. Thank you. Oh, Thank take you. me by, by the hand. hand. And give 
good loving to this man. Make me laugh and you give me a smile. We could travel for many a mile together forever. We'll do what we can to take away the blues. Cause I'm a good man. You're a good man. And I won't let you down. Won't let me down. Yeah, I'm a good man. Keep you safe and sound. So let me know when you want me around. Thank you, Tara Lorraine Wolf and Kevin on sound. And thank you all very much. I have CDs, and you guys are a great audience. Greg Spence Bull. What, what, was, what was your wife's name? Uh, wife's name? Tara. Thank you. Thank you for singing for us tonight. All right, we're going to do a quick set change. We're going to bring Eric Dodd up and get him set up. Probably takes about five minutes. Talks to amongst yourselves, and we'll be right back.
microphone Cause I'm scared shitless Of performing in front of this many people Good Lord Hi. <laughs> Thanks. Check. 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 Whoa. Electronics. Check, check, check. Okay, I really am scared, I'm sorry. And I told, in the last show I did, I was also really scared and everybody was really tense, so if everybody could, everybody could just chill out right now, I'd really appreciate it. You're making me nervous. Oh, and my grandmother might be watching from Pasadena because, I know, right? Oh, everybody say hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma! And uh, she's actually, she, she's all right, but she's in the hospital and she's gonna be okay. But uh, it's cool that she might be able to actually watch the live stream here. So, and my name is Eric Dodd. Uh, this is actually a new thing. Can I not use the microphone for one song? Is that right? Okay. Because I'm seriously not handling the microphone very well. So.
Thanks. Yeah, the nerves are starting to go down a little bit. It was like this at first, and now it's a little more known. Did I mention my name's Eric Dodd? That's it. I'll just say it one more time. Eric Dodd? Eric Dodd? Eric Dodd? Eric Dodd? Eric Dodd? Sorry. Uh, this song is, this is about love again. And it's called Yellow Stars. No, I'm not going to rap. and river boats are in your future love and memories are near and I know you're the kind of one where not just anyone will suit you but lay your head down Thank you. All right. I'm going to 
tune real quick here. It's a little... Let's all sing the tuning song. <laughs> I was just spontaneous. I don't know what that was. I don't know what key it's in. Because I'm out of tune. I'm just going to go with that. So that was a, I guess that was a love song. And this next song is also a love song, but it's a breakup song. And it's actually, uh, it's the first song where I realized I could write any kind of lyrics that I wanted to. And it doesn't have to make sense. I'd prefer it be in tune. This, I don't know if you can tell, but I use this guitar a lot. I have like a separate hole for each genre. It's going to have to be good enough. Uh, and this is called No More. I stay up late, I get up late, and all I want to do is lie in bed with you, but you get up at eight. Keep up, and I don't know what keeps me slowing down to stick around the clown town that keeps these mutts. I'm a bad breed that can't stay out of trouble. Run, baby, but come back to pick me out the rubble. But no more. You can't save me. No more. But you can't blame me when I can't see you and me no more this love is my vanilla thriller gods in the burning my tokyo down who needs a hero when there's no one to save And you say I'm insane When I'm doing 80 in the slow lane But I'm an angel away on my halo I stole it from and you ain't gonna give it back And I know why you come around The same reason that I'm back in town Mirrors help us see That I'm for you and you're for me But no more you can't save me no more but you can't blame me when i saw you in the market and i touched you wrong to say though no your gaze was cold but i just don't think that way and i know that you ain't here no but it feels like you stayed Just a little longer Can you stay with me Before you drift away But no more You can't save me No more But you can't blame me I can't see that you and me no more. Thanks. Did I mention my name's Eric Dodd? Okay. There are actually three Erics in music, right? There are probably more than that, but there's me, my name's Eric Dodd, and then um, there's a guy named Eric Miller in Seattle, which is where I'm coming from. And um, 
There's another guy named Eric Dodd, but he's in Alabama. And he's a really good country music artist. And But I am, out of those three people, by far um, the skinniest. I don't have to exercise. It's just nervous energy. Just. Okay, um, I'm going to set up for this song real quick. Thanks for listening. You guys are being awesome. Yeah, I've always wanted to do this with an audience. We are the Borg. <laughs> Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. And transmission. Thanks. <laughs> Woo. Does that count as a song? No? Okay. All right, this is called um, Please Stay. Um, yeah, okay. The way I love you, I know it's right. And like I done told you before, I don't need nobody, but I'm still calling you tonight. So stay with me.
something lost along the way Nothing's right but nothing's wrong It's just enough to carry on It's just enough to keep me strong to say Please stay, no don't go Cause I can't bear to be the one pretending not to care Please stay, and I can't promise nothing for free For all I know I swore before Baby can't you stay for me How much time do I have? One or two more? I got one more. Thanks again. It's really cool. This takes a second to set up, so I'm sorry. Just Let's see here. I sound like way better than usual. Are you using auto tune or something? Or seriously, man, I heard I was like, you gotta be kidding me. There's some, well, like having a sound guy at a show like this is amazing. Like you do not have sound guys almost ever, let alone at a cafe gig. It's just sweet. Um, just, I'm sorry, just a moment. Can I use reverb? Oh my, okay. Thanks. Check. 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 Checkity. Check. All right. Sorry. I, um, this is the area that I'm moving into artistically, so it's a little bit of sampling and looping and stuff like that. And no, I'm not going to rap. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. I wrote a rap song, actually, and I'm not going to play it, but it was, uh, it was, it wasn't good. And I remember I, uh, I, uh, I told my dad, I was like, Dad, I wrote a rap song. And you could see in his face, he's just trying to say something positive. So he's just like, oh, <laughs> and I was like, but it's not, you know, it's not good. I just did it to explore the genre and all that. And, then, and he goes, well, it's good you know it's not good. <laughs> this actually happened. Okay, here we go. But don't you know this is coming? Don't you know that there's going to come a day when you'll be sick or someone close to you will die and you'll look back on the kinds of things that captured your attention and you'll think, well, what was I doing? You know this and yet if you're like most people you will spend most of your time in life tacitly presuming you'll live forever. I mean, it's like watching a bad movie for the fourth time. Or, or bickering with your spouse. I mean, this, these things only make sense in light of eternity.
I'ma follow the stream of tears Raised on lonely daydreams Wail the night through Memory or fantasy I drown in thoughts of you things that captured your attention and you'll think what, what was I doing thank you very much thanks <laughs>